I believe the Fort Knox International Park Act was created to cover up all the gold they found in the Grand Canyon and also the findings and discovery of King Tut's tomb. And then later on, they went to Africa and created a museum and mock of it to make it seem like it was originally discovered there. And they also made other um, artifacts, too, which you can find online of them actually building. They did this to cover up the truth that Egypt was here in America. There is something hidden at the bottom of the Grand Canyon that the highest authorities don't want you to discover and its existence be unsuspected. In the 1850s, the Grand Canyon was used for gold extraction. When people started exploiting it, the gold index plummeted due to the excessive amount of gold found there. It was subsequently closed and declared a sanctuary so that nobody could access it and take a massive amount of gold. However, there was a man named Seth Tanner who was an explorer. He explored a cave in the Grand Canyon and claimed to have seen ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs inside one of these caves. His theory suggests that the Grand Canyon holds the lost city of El Dorado, the city of gold that has never been found. The theory suggests that it is literally located in the Grand Canyon, at the bottom of its caves. The reason why those in power would try to keep it secret is that it would cause the gold price to collapse. But recently, supporters of this theory have decided to find out the truth and have gone to the Grand Canyon.